Uh, so during those years, <coughs> the top end of a, of a window, if it was there, it was very sharp. But it's the still a correct thing to point out. Mm. So the window tops, the door tops, they are a bit fancier than they could have been. But the size of the door and the size of the window is the one that matters. As I told you, there was a tax for, a, well, for windows. So the, when the merchants wanted and they had a chance finally, they decide that if we want, we will build a house twice as wide, twice as tall, so tall that even the shortest of churches will be shorter than our house. <coughs> And if they want, they will build a house that windows would be bigger than the nobility stores. And this kind of a statement, this is almost as good, well, as not caring at all about those nobility. Well, the biggest of the symbols about the house here would be that the house has been built one meter, well, back. As I told you, all the buildings are built in straight line. Mm. This is the only house that has been built differently. Mm. And this is almost as good as a middle finger pointed towards the nobility that we don't care about you at all. Mm. This is the moment where the merchants had enough. This is the moment where the merchants had been gathering the wealth for three, four hundred years, trying to prove themselves to be worthy, trying to make something out of these lands. And well, what did they get back? Not much from the nobility. So they have enough of it and they built this house as a statement. A statement so good that when they finished building this house or constructing it on the year 1550, the nobility was put into such a shame <coughs> that the merchants could be now elected to the city council or to the mayors to be the mayors of the town. And this moment in history marks down the time when the merchants got the power to their own hands. So it's the best kind of a proof that doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, or what do you do with your life, or what have you done before, there's always a chance that if you work hard for it, you try to put in a bit more than you take out, then at the end of the day, well, there's always a chance that you are a bit better of a person. The true meaning of those stories that they have for us would be that this is a good proof that doesn't matter what you do, where you come from, nowadays the world is turning into something rather temporary. As we start to think, the world was created as a free place for all of us, well, thanks to those people who were here before. So whatever you do in your lives, whenever you have a choice to do things one way or the other way, always do it the merchant's way. Do it so that people would love you even more at the end of the day, and not because they have to, but because they can. And maybe someday people will love us as much as they love merchants nowadays. Uh -huh. Well, I hope these stories truly thought you good, because those stories, well, can inspire you to be something greater. They don't have to, but this is what they have given to us. I thank you a lot. I think I have had the most beautiful, uh, well, second show that I have had in a few weeks. Uh, usually the second one is the difficult one, as you can see. I cannot speak too well, I cannot look too well. Not as good as this young gentleman back there, at least. So, let me take you to the center of the town, to the town hall square, to share the last story with you. The last, but the best, he's the hero of all the children, and he's the old Thomas. Old Thomas was his name. You will help me out. Very good. See, he agrees. Now, my lord, you take the lead between those houses. I will follow you right there.